Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for the parish of Muskoka Lakes on this Friday, August 14th. It's hard to believe we're almost halfway through August already. We'd like to thank our host today, Derek, <laughs> Derek and Laura Stevens, for providing us with this beautiful setting that seems to be so indicative of Muskoka. Uh, and much like Muskoka, you're going to hear probably in the background a few things like the heat bugs going because it's another beautiful warm day. Uh, you may even hear the birds and a little while ago we even had a couple of kayakers go past. But all those things remind us of some of the normalcy that others may not be experiencing out in the rest of the world. So we're hoping that through today's morning prayer it gives you that little bit of comfort, a little bit of peace, a little bit of hope to carry on not just with your day but into the weekend and into the future. Now if you'd like to follow along with us, if, you're, if you have a book of common prayer, because that's what we're going to be working with today, uh, we'll be starting on uh, page three today. But if you don't have one, you can in fact get a uh, digital copy. They're in PDF form and you go to anglican.ca and under resources, you'll find that you can download these and have them handy with you. And today we begin with the sentences for worship. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. O oh, let the Lord in the beauty oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe of him. And we turn over to page four. Dearly beloved, the scripture moveth us in sundry places to acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness, and that we should not dissemble nor cloak them before the face of Almighty God our Heavenly Father, but confess them with a humble, lowly, penitent and obedient heart, to the end that we may obtain forgiveness of the same by his infinite goodness and mercy. And although we ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before God, yet ought we most chiefly so to do when we assemble and meet together to render thanks for the great benefits that we received at his hands, to set forth his most worthy praise, to hear his most holy word, and to ask those things which are requisite and necessary as well for the body as the soul. Wherefore we pray and beseech you, as many as are here present, to accompany me with a pure heart and a humble voice unto the throne of heavenly grace. And together our general confession, Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We, we have left, left undone, undone those things which we ought to have done, done. and we, we have done, done those things which we ought not, not to have done, done. and there, there is, is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. offenders. Spare thou, thou them, O God, which confess, confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto humankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desireth not the death of sinners, but rather that they may turn from their wickedness and live, hath given power and commandment to his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people, being penitent, the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardoneth and absolveth all them that truly repent and unfeignedly believe his holy gospel. Wherefore, we beseech him and to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may please him which we do at this present, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And please join us in the saying of the Lord's Prayer. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. 
O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Pra praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. We'll carry on with the Vanity, which is based on Psalm 95. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hands are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, O oh, that ye would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with that generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swear my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. And our psalm for today... can be found on page 418, and it's Psalm 72, and we're going to do verses 1 to 13. Give the king thy judgments, O God, and thy righteousness unto the king's son. Then shall he judge thy people according unto right, and thy poor with justice. The mountains also shall bring peace, and the little hills righteousness unto the people. He shall keep the simple folk by their right, save the children of the poor, and punish the wrongdoer. He shall live as long as the sun, and while the moon endureth, from one generation to another. He shall come down like the rain upon the mown grass, even as the showers that water the earth. In his time shall righteousness flourish, yea, an abundance of peace so long as the moon endureth. Let his dominion also be from sea to sea, and from the river unto the world's end. Let them that dwell in the wilderness kneel before him, and let his en enemies lick the dust. Let the kings of Tarshish and the isles give presents, and the kings of Arabia and Seba bring gifts. Let all the kings fall down before him, and all nations do him service. For he shall deliver the poor when he crieth, the needy also, and him that hath no helper. He shall have pity on the weak and the needy, and shall preserve the souls of the poor. Glory be, be to the, the Father, Father, and to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Ghost, Ghost as, as it was in the beginning, is now, now and ever shall be, world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Amen. And we return to page 7 in the book. And here we'll do the Te Deum Laudamus. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The father of an infinite majesty. Thine honorable, true, and only son. Also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. 
when thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee. And we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. And we turn to page 457. And here, we're going to do Psalm 100, which is known as the Jubilate Deo. O be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Be ye sure that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his, oops, sorry. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. O go your way into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth from generation to generation. Glory be to the Father, and, and to the Son, Son and, and to the Holy Ghost, Ghost as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. And we've returned to page 10, and in the middle of page 10 you'll find the Apostles' Creed, which is our statement of faith. And Helen and I are going to say this together. I, I believe, believe in God, God the Father, Father Almighty, Maker of, of heaven, heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, Christ his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen. And mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness. And make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people. And bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And evermore mightily defend us. O God, make clean our hearts within us. And take not thy Holy Spirit from us. And our collect for today can be found on page 231. And it's a collect for the ninth Sunday after Trinity. And Helen, can I get you to do that one? Okay. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, we beseech ye, the Spirit to think and to do always such things as be rightful, that we, who cannot do anything that is good without thee, may by thee be enabled to live according to thy will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we return to page 11, and our second collect for the day is a collect for peace. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, 
through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The third colic for grace. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance, to do always that is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we continue with a prayer for the clergy and people, which is found on page 13. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and clergy, and all congregations committed to their charge, the healthful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee, pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our Advocate and Mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And the prayer for all conditions. O God, the Creator and Preserver of all humankind, we humbly beseech Thee for all sorts and conditions, that Thou wouldst be pleased to make Thy ways known unto them, Thy saving help unto all nations. More especially, we pray for the good estate of the Catholic Church, that it may be so guided and governed by Thy good Spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in unity of spirit, in the bond of peace, and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, estate. And here we may place your prayers for those who are afflicted. That it may please thee to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their suffering and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all your children. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, Give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. And the prayer for St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, who's given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. And together the grace, the, the grace, grace of, of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and, and the, the love of God, and, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, Ghost be with us all evermore. evermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day this morning to join us here. We hope that it provides you with the peace and comfort that you need to carry on throughout the rest of this day and into the weekend. We hope that you have a safe weekend, whatever it is that you're doing. Remember to 
know, social distance, to wear your face mask, to wash your hands. But also, don't forget those that are not able to get out and around, even in these restrictive times. And if you can, take a, a few minutes out of your day to give them a call just to let them know that you're thinking about them and assure them that they are not alone. Thank you and have a great day.